Now here's another nice little Smith & Wesson. Very closely related to the Smith & Wesson Model 34-1 that I just did a video on. This one is essentially the same gun except it's in stainless steel and has a square butt grip instead of a round butt grip. This is a Model 63. And you can find the model number on a Smith & Wesson by looking on the frame underneath the crane. I don't know how well this will show up. Uh, I think you can be able to see it there. Now the... It's a Model 63, what they call the kit gun by Smith & Wesson. It's on the J frame. Same frame that the little uh, Chief Special is built on. And this one was made in 1981, and I bought it new in 1981. And this thing has seen its share of being carried around and used. But it's, you know, stainless steel, as long as you don't abuse it, it's pretty hard to show anywhere on stainless steel. It's been in the holster quite a bit. I've always been fairly careful of taking care of it. The grips are still nice. And like uh, any little J-frame, you'll find the, the serial number on the bottom of the grip. Smith & Wesson logo. Identification is Smith & Wesson. Your markings here. And you find the caliber on the right side of the barrel. Now that's not uh, universal on all Smith & Wesson revolvers but uh, as a general rule that's uh, where you look for things on them. Old enough it's still got the pen barrel and it is a little six shot double action and single action it's got a red insert on the front sight and these guns are not entirely stainless steel. They they did uh, make the rear sight out of uh, regular steel, blued steel, simply because uh, a silver uh, colored stainless steel sight is pretty hard to see. Now when they first came out with the Model 67, the K38 uh, Masterpiece, uh, uh, well K38 Combat Masterpiece in uh, stainless steel, they put stainless steel sights on them and people complained that the sights were hard to see so it wasn't long before they uh, changed back to having blue sights at least the rear sight this one here does have a stainless front sight but it's got the rear insert in it so that it's easy to pick up the sight picture these have got nice little actions and like uh, any rim fire, you shouldn't uh, dry fire it without having some kind of a snap cap in it. Single action is very nice. Not as great as it is on, a, say, a K-frame target gun, but uh, pretty nice. And these are just a very handy little gun. That thing went out in the woods with me a lot of times and still goes out in the woods with me a lot of times just on a little belt holster. Put your shirt tail over the top of the over the top of the gun to keep the grips from getting scratched up and this thing should last for a long long time to come it's already uh, let's see it's already 31 years old and it doesn't show its age much they're a fairly light gun but they're solid you got enough weight for you to be able to hold them uh, good and steady on target. And essentially, it's uh, a Chief Special with a in 22 long rifle with a four-inch barrel and adjustable sights, and just a very nice little gun. I thought before I got it put away here that I'd just give you a quick look at it individually. I had done a video earlier where I had a lot of small guns out uh, to show off and just thought I'd give you a quick look at, at this one by itself. Thanks for watching.